Hello everyone, uh, if you look on the voltmeter, uh, the ammeter, you'll see it's 816.816 of an amp, 11.19 volts. Uh, magnets don't affect the meters. I'm going to put them on here. An increase of about 100 milliamps. Okay. These magnets ah, are a nightmare. Right. Try that again. An increase of approximately 100 milliamps. I started this off at 20 milliamps in deionized water <coughs> and I saw an increase of approximately 3 or 4 milliamps when I put the magnets on. I gradually increased the electrolyte in the glass tube, put the magnets back on again and it moved up to approximately 100 milliamps. So magnets do assist the electron flow between the plates in a hydrogen cell. 100 milliamps, if you take over 12, uh, say 20 uh, amps, you're going to get an increase of approximately an amp, two amps. It's uh, assisting the flow of the electrons by either throwing the hydrogen oxygen off, oxygen off of the plates or something else, I don't know. But this is the first time I've been able to show it for real. I'll take them off again. I think that's proof enough. Uh, any questions just ask, I'll try and answer. But it would seem that magnets do assist the electron flow between the plates in a hydrogen cell. A little bit of saving, 100 milliamps. You can extrapolate and see how far it goes with 20 amps, as I've suggested. And I think it's proof positive. I'll do it once more. I have to be careful, I don't break the glass. Okay, I don't think it can be clearer than that, that's it for now.